Hi guys, here's a great little baby sun hat for you to make for that special little one. This is with Crafter's Secret Cotton and these two colors are Cutie Fruity and Spa Blue. It works up really fast and um, it's also reversible if you don't add any application on the back. The inside is going to be the same as the outside, the way I did it. So I'm using a G hook and I'm going to demonstrate in white yarn. So you make your circle. You start it at the crown. I chain four for my circle. And then I go right back in my circle and then I grab my tail and I chain up five. There's one, two, three, four, five, and then drop your tail. That one's pretty long. And now I'm gonna do two rows at a time, all the way around, for a total of 18 stitches. So you wanna go into that third, yarn over, go into that third, pull through. You've got three on your hook, yarn over again. Go into your center hole, pull through. So now you've got a total of five on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. See that diagonal? We want to go right behind that stitch. Yarn over, go into the center, pull through, five on your hook, pull through four times. Go into your center, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. So you want to do that a total of 18 times. And I have one here. Now to close it, this is how I close it. Go into that stitch, yarn over, go into that stitch, right behind the diagonal, go back over here into your third stitch, pull it through, pull it through, yarn over, and pull it all the way through everything, and then close up your circle. So now what we're going to do is a continuous two double crochet, double crochet, two double crochet, double crochet, all the way around. So I'm going to go into that next stitch with a slip stitch and I'm going to chain up, I think I have a loose, there we go, one, two, and three, counting as my first double crochet, back into the same space with another double crochet. Next space, double crochet. Next space, two double crochet. and double crochet and two double crochet
And you're gonna do that all the way around. So I have one here, worked out when you get all the way around. You're going to, oh, this is one that I uh, had showed the rim for. So in your two double crochet, you're now going to work four with the chain one in the middle. And when you get to your single double crochet, just do a single. So there's a single. We're gonna jump over here to our two double crochet and we're gonna do four. So there's one, two, chain one, and two more. And this is all the increasing you're gonna have to do. Then I just went straight down from here. So there's the one double crochet. I'm gonna do one double crochet. Then in the two double crochet, I'm gonna do four. With a chain one in between. No chains in between when you go to the single. Just do one double crochet, go in between that space, and do two, chain one, two. Almost back to the beginning here. So we've got our, we're ending with our one. And now we've got our Two. So I'm going to join our circle with a slip, go into the four double crochet with the chain one, and I'm going to chain up one, two, three, and I'm going to do two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And you find that single one, one double crochet, go back to your four, two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. So it's kind of like a shell stitch.
and there's no more increasing, so it's really easy. You just gotta start right at the crown. Again with 18, two at a time. Um, and I was gonna tell you how many rows I went down. So continue that all the way around until your hat is complete. Let's pull the finished one here. And let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I went down seven rows with just the two, four double crochets, single, four, single. Go down four times. How I did the brim was I single crocheted along the entire thing. And then I did two single crochets. Here, let me do this one. And one single crochet, two single crochets, one single crochet. So I'll show you on this. So when you get the hat, your desired length, single crochet all the way around the rim. And then do two single crochets, one single crochet all the way around. So that makes it uh, go out a little are slanted like that. Um, if you would want this more roughly, then I would do two single crochets in every single stitch. And then you're gonna get more of that wave that some of the sun hats have. Now how I finished it here is with the reverse single crochet. And so I'm gonna show you how I do that. So obviously you don't turn, you want to move backwards, okay? So we're going to go into that stitch right there, backwards, pull through, and single crochet. Go into the next stitch, and you want to have kind of loose tension for this. into the next stitch. And some people call this the rope stitch. And another nice thing, having it on the brim, it's a great way to hide your yarn with the darning needle. You know, sometimes you can tell, especially with single crochets, there's not a lot of hiding room. Well, this gives you a great amount of hiding room. And then that's how I finished it off. Um, this is the yarn that I have left from the uh, Crafter's Secret Cotton. So you can easily make one hat with a ball, if not two. So that's how I make this sweet little sun hat. I'm so excited to put it on my granddaughter. And then it's gonna wash up nice. You can also do the flip up that they do with some sun hats and maybe put a little flower there. I do it with a clip though, so that if you did want it to be reversible, uh, yeah. So let me know if you have any questions on how to make this sweet little sun hat. I will try to answer them. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy crocheting.